Hi babies, my name is Gabriella and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be filming a, a thrift haul but more so a thrift favorites video. Um, I've been going thrifting as of lately with my mom and my sis and I've copped some real cool and unique pieces so I just wanted to share with y'all. Um, Thrifting was a big part of my upbringing and up to today I still go thrifting very often and I am not ashamed of it because to be honest if you don't thrift what are you doing because let me tell you thrifting is where it's at you save money and you find some real cool and sometimes some real vintage pieces so let me just say that thrifting is the ish so let's just go ahead and get started i have a couple of items to show y'all i have some jewelry i have some clothing items and of course i have some purses because i am the queen of purses and at this point in my life i think i have a purse for every day of the year but let's just go ahead and get started and so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the jewelry and so let's start with my most recent purchase so a couple of days ago i went to visit my mom and my sister and my family in la and we went thrifting and i bought this really cute gold bracelet it looks like this it looks like it's a bangle um and it has like an arrow and the arrow has a diamond and i really like it because it's adjustable and at first I saw it and I was like, man, this is really cute, but I don't think it's going to fit me. But then I saw that it was adjustable and I was like, you know what? I have to cop. So yeah, I bought it and it's so beautiful and it was just $5. Can you believe that? So this is my most recent purchase. And so now I have another bracelet to show y'all. And this bracelet is just so beautiful and so vintage. And it has so many different colored rhinestones and... I just love it so let me just go ahead and stop talking and show y'all and so this is what it looks like it is gorgeous and I mean gorgeous like look at this it just has rhinestones all over it has orange rhinestones it has some yellow rhinestones some green rhinestones and some white ones and can you not tell me that this is not gorgeous like it's gorgeous right it looks so vintage it's so unique and it was only ten dollars i believe and so funny story i went to this goodwill twice i seen it twice the first time i was like oh it's cute but it looks a little rusty it looks a little worn out so i didn't buy it but then i went back and i was paying and i was like you know what can you show me that bracelet and so the cashier pulls it out and i take a closer look at it and i was like you know what the worn out vibe just adds to the aesthetic, you know? I think that this is the way that it's supposed to be. And after further inspection, I was like, I'm sold. So I bought it and it's just so gorgeous and I'm so happy I did. And so that same day, I came across a ring and I just, after seeing this ring, I was like, you know what, it's meant to be. I'm meant to buy the bracelet and I'm meant to buy the ring because both the ring and the bracelet have like, similar colored rhinestones and it just looks like they were meant to go together so that same day i went ahead and i bought this ring and it's so beautiful as you can see it goes with the bracelet it has an orange rhinestone a white one a green one and like a purpley plum one and it was just like meant to be right right i know i know and so this ring i believe was only like six dollars and i was just like i have to buy it yeah and so finally for my last piece i bought this beautiful necklace and i've been wanting a necklace like this for so long but i was just yet to find one that i liked the length of it and like the style of it and one that was like rather affordable and so when i saw this at the thrift i was like i have to get it but it's like this beautiful like herringbone necklace and guess in the comments how much this this was guess pause the video and guess did you guess it was ten dollars can you believe that 
I couldn't believe it. I was like, $10? I would have expected $15, you know? Like, I know it's a thrift and the thrift tends to be on the cheaper side, but I thought that a necklace of this nice quality was going to be more than $10. And when they told me it was $10 and I saw the price tag, I was like, sold. I am buying, say less. And so I just love it because I've been wanting a herringbone necklace for a very long time. And the length is just, the length of it. The length is it for me. Like, I really like the length. And so, yeah, those are my jewelry pieces. Um, I bought the two bracelets and the ring at Goodwill. And then the herringbone necklace, I bought it at this other thrift somewhere in, like, the Beverly Hills area. Um, but it wasn't a Goodwill. I don't remember. Oh, it's called Council. Council Shop or Council Thrift. That's the name of the of the thrift okay so moving forward i'm going to show y'all three clothing items that i bought and i bought a couple more but i think that these are like the most unique pieces and these are my favorite pieces so i just wanted to share with y'all real quick just to show y'all what kind of clothes you can find at the thrift and so the first one i'm going to show you is like this blazer type um shirt um it's by the brand dana buckman i don't know if that's like an expensive brand but nevertheless it's a really cute shirt. It's very oversized. Um, it has like a deep V and then it has buttons and then it has like a really cute pattern on the sleeves and the bottom is like this and it literally fits me like a dress. So my plan is to wear it as a dress with some shorts under and it's going to be like a blazer type dress vibe. You know, do you get the vision? I love blazers and like blazer dresses. They're just my aesthetic, to be honest. So this is the first one. The next one is another oversized shirt and this one's a little different. It isn't like a blazer type, but it still is a button up. This is what it looks like. And again, very oversized, cute pattern. Um, it fits me like a dress so again i'm going to wear it with like some shorts under and then have it be kind of like a dress vibe and i just i am really into oversized shirts right now i'm not even gonna lie i bought so many and they're literally my thing right now i just love wearing some oversized shirts with some shorts under but you can't see the shorts you get my drift you get my vibe that's my vibe right now and so finally the last clothing piece is probably my favorite and it's my favorite because it's just super unique looking i'm so sorry that my chair is squeaking so much but it's like literally falling apart <laughs> but anyways yeah so the final clothing item is this beautiful skirt and i just love it so much because of the pattern it has um cheetah and then it has tiger and then cheetah and then tiger and then it's ruffled at the bottom and it's like one of those pinup skirts um like those 50s type skirts that like were really popular in that era you know and i just love it i'm probably gonna wear it with like a crop top and do my hair like pinup style that day and this is what it looks like and so this skirt i believe was around seven dollars at goodwill and then the two other shirts i bought them at the council shop council thrift which is where i bought the herringbone necklace and i want to say that those shirts were around seven to ten dollars each so again very affordable if you ask me and very unique looking they aren't like um the type of clothes that you would find that you would find in fast fashion websites are way more like different you know and so finally i'm going to show y'all four purses that i bought um current recently at the thrift and so let's just start off with the clutches i'm going to start off with my favorite one and this is my favorite one. Oh my god thumbnail it's just so beautiful it's this really beautiful pink color like magenta almost or fuchsia and it has like a really pretty like design right here i don't know what you call this but it's just really nice detail and then like you open it and it looks like this it still has a tag it was 10 oh no it doesn't have a tag but it was ten dollars and then it has like a little strap if you want to wear it like with the strap but personally i would just like carry it i feel like it's that type of vibe you know like uh, i'm gonna just carry you type vibe but this is hands down like my favorite clutch that i bought 
it's just so beautiful if you ask me and again very vintage very unique it isn't something that you're going to find on like i don't know sheen like you may find it in sheen but like not really you know because sheen is like sheen has like the more trendy stuff but this is really like a one-of-a-kind type piece if you ask me and so i also bought this other clutch and i bought this one at goodwill and it's just so gorgeous look at the color i feel like they used to make things way better back then like way better quality and just like way better looking you know like this is such a beautiful clutch i bought this at goodwill and i want to say that oh, it has a price it was six dollars you can't really see but yeah six dollars for this beautiful clutch and then it also has like the little strap if you want to carry it like this but personally, I, again, would just carry it as a clutch. And I just love the gold. I think that it looks really, like, elegant and really expensive, if you ask me, even though it was just six bucks. <laughs> so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And so the last clutch is another very, like, unique piece. And this is what it looks like it's so beautiful look at the design it looks like scales and it just has like so many colors on it it also looks like a mosaic and then it's a clutch you open it and then the inside looks like this it has a lot of pockets for like um credit cards and stuff and then it has a pocket for like an id and then you can open it like this and it has even more like credit card slots and like a money slot which to me is like super impressive and again i think it just speaks to the fact that i feel like stuff used to be made way better quality back then and now it kind of just sucks i feel like now everything is just made to break but like before i feel like stuff was made to last you know and i think that this is a perfect example of how much attention and detail they put into stuff you know like it has a zipper on this side and it's just so beautiful like it's it's timeless you know and so this one, I want to say it's, it was around the same price, I think around $6. And again, I bought it at Goodwill. And it's just so beautiful, right? Like, they don't make them like this anymore. Just like them two, two door. You know what? I'm not even going to try to quote that J. Cole song because I can't even remember the lyrics. How sad. But anyways, final piece. Are y'all ready? Okay, so this is a dupe, but let me tell you, it is a really good looking dupe. I bought, I've dabbled in dupes. Like I went through a time period was, where I was buying so many dupes and it was just like, why was I buying so many dupes? And like the quality just was not it. But like I saw this dupe a couple of days ago and I, I thought it was real. I really did. I thought it was real. And I took a look at it and I was like, I want it. So I told the worker, do you think that you can like put it aside for me? And had she said no, I probably would have bought it in the spot. Just because I feel like a lot of people jump on dupes when they see them at like thrift stores because obviously they're selling them for like a way cheaper price. So had she said no, I probably would have bought it on the spot. But she said that, yeah, it was fine. She can part it for me. So then I ended up like buying it, you know, once we left. Actually, my mom bought it for me. I was going to buy it myself, but my mom is the best and she bought it for me when we were paying so thank you mommy um but yeah it is guess pause the video and guess what designer dupe do you think it is did you guess it is a louis vuitton dupe and i don't know the name of this bag but i looked it up when i was trying to find out whether it was real or not and it isn't real i can tell just because of the inside the inside lining is different the real one has like lines in the inside and this one is just like black and then the quality isn't that good but it looks really okay so the quality is good it's just not like real you know so it's not as good as a real thing but it's good for a dupe and so i'm gonna just stop talking and show y'all are y'all ready all right this is what it looks like wow isn't this beautiful I don't know what this bag is called but like this bag the real one is so expensive it resells for around four thousand dollars and i bought this or my mom bought this for fifty dollars and 
my mom is like a big receipt person like she'll go over her receipt a thousand times after she pays just to make sure that no one finessed her and she told me that she actually got a discount on it it was probably like on sale or something and she got it for like a couple dollars less so instead of 50 she ended up paying like 42 dollars for it so 42 dollars for this dupe honestly to me is a steal because where are you gonna get a better dupe like nowadays there's so many businesses that sell dupes and like the real ones are super expensive and it's kind of like i'm not the real ones the ones that look real are super expensive so 40 something dollars for this type of dupe i would say is a steal gorgeous bag and it looks real so i'm gonna have people pretend i'm gonna have people thinking that i have a real louis but little do they know it is fake and so yeah babies that is it let me know what was your favorite item on the comments let me know if you go thrifting um let me know what thrifts you like going to if you do go thrifting let's talk I've missed you guys so much. I am so excited to be making another video and I can't wait to make another one and I can't wait to see y'all in the next one. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. It would really help baby Ella out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my thrift favorites and I hope that I convinced you to go thrifting if you already don't, if you don't already, I mean. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see y'all in the next video. Bye, babies.